Hey folks, Greg Koch here. We're back. It's Fender Collection 2 for Amplitude by our friends at IK Multimedia. This time it's for iOS, all your iPads and iPhones and I thingamajiggers, mobile apparatus. What's cool about this is that you can set this up in the La Quinta after a hard day of being on the road. I'm not gonna come here and tell you that this is exactly like playing a 65 Super Reverb, but I'm gonna tell you that it's pretty damn close and it's fun to use, and that's the point here. I've got this Super Reverb on about, well, it's on five and a half. I've got uh, treble on seven-ish, middle on five, and I got the bass down about four, because like an old Super Reverb, once you start cranking them up, the low end gets a little bit, uh, shall we say, woofy or flatulent, as I like to say. And I do have the bright switch on, so what it allows me to do is I can have the volume down-ish, and it cleans up. Turn it up, and I... play lightly it cleans up dig in idea. It reacts like an amp would. Hey folks, we're having fun with a little 57 Bandmaster in this digital environment. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of cool things going on here that remind you of playing a real 57 Bandmaster. One of the things about Tweet Amps is that they, they obviously loaded up the power amp section once it started heating up and you turned it up. The tone got very uh, warm and uh, I'm gonna say gristlicious. That's a term I like to use. But it also maintains this nice warm. <laughs> there's slice, but there's sinew. Those are my two favorite things. There's, there's this scoop juiciness. A little rattiness around the edge. It sounds like an. I always, whenever I hear the sound, I, I imagine phrase of tweed. There's two different channels and they sound a little bit different. There's a mic channel and there's an instrument channel. And what you do in uh, reality when you're playing one is you go into the input jack and then out of the second input jack of that first channel, you use a little bridge and you go into the input first input of the second channel and you kind of match up the sounds. <laughs> sounds glorious I dig it now we'll go to the mic channel and you can hear what that sounds like not quite as brightish right now let's bridge both of them and you see a little jumper cable comes in Turn down the volume it cleans up I dig it. I'm going to get one. We're having a little fun with a 57 Custom Champ. You can mess around with which input jack on this one. I've just got the volume up at about, well, they go up to 12. So I've got it on 10. So it's getting ratty, but not too ratty. This amp's got that real thing of those old champs that get kind of nasally and very direct sound. <laughs> So I'm going into the second input jack to get a little bit more heat. If we go into the first one, it sounds like this. I 
messing around here with a 57 Custom Deluxe. You can do a lot of things in this digital environment as you would in reality, ladies and gentlemen. Turn down the volume. So you got it so you can crank up the amp a little bit. So I got the instrument volume at about halfway up and the mic volume as well. And I got the channels bridged. I always like to refer to it as uh, an amp on the verge of implosion. It sounds like it's just about to go. So I have to turn down the volume and the guitar cleans up. Hey, we're checking out this 57 Custom Pro. I got a little bit of sweet reverb on there. And you know, as a Tweed Pro would, it loads up a little differently than a Deluxe or from the Bandmaster and so on and so forth. It's got a little bit more of a focused mid-range to it. I think people think things are more distorted than they actually were. They were a lot of times they were just these old amps cranked, which get nice and rotund when you turn them up, but not like a total saturation, like a preamp distortion. A lot of the classic tones of all time were these old tweed amps cranked up in the studio, and that's what we're able to achieve with this thing. So that in and of itself, for me, makes it really, really cool. We're going on the Tweed Twin Patrol, an amplifier that was championed by everyone from Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, Joe Bonamassa loves him. Uh, and this amplifier rendition in this mighty Amplitube Fender Collection 2 variety is chock full of all the goodness that we've come to expect from this type of an amplifier in the digital domain. Now dig it. I'm going into the bright channel and I've got that bright volume up about halfway up. <laughs> Sounds viscous. It does that thing, and that thing we dig. Now, I do have a little bit of gate on it because sometimes when you crank these amps up, there can be some interference with lights. And so it's nice to be able to just put that on just a little bit. It gets rid of the noise of Rooney. sound of this rascal this is a 53 baseman you have your choice of either having a brand new iteration or a worn out version check this out it's pretty fun so that's new also lord so the new version is going to be a little tighter in the low end doesn't get quite as ratty <laughs> going blah a little bit more as you do over time when you get a little older that's what life you just go blah you know the whole thing with tweet amps is you just gotta crank them crank them all the way up i don't know about you guys but i'm just having fun with this thing for the first time really this particular iteration and i gotta tell you i spend a lot of time in hotel rooms i would just plug into this basement setting with a little bit of reverb crank that thing up put my headphones on 
and while away the hours in a wholesome musical respite. Can you dig it? It's Fender Collection 2 for Amplitude by our friends at IK Multimedia. Gotta tell you, them working with Fender, they've knocked this sucker out of the park. Skaboidle. Thank you. 